Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. So Toronto. Okay guys, I'm going to New York tomorrow, going back to Buffalo to check out some neighborhoods, see what neighborhood we are going to invest in. Okay, we're in Buffalo, New York, and we are going to Salvation Army and Goodwill just to check okay, it out. Okay, we're, St. Vincent de Paul was closed, so we're going to Amvet's thrift store. Oops. Okay, you know what I'm noticing? I'm noticing that a lot of the Goodwills and antique stores have a lot of similar items and I'm at a stage in my life where I'm really careful about what I bring into my home. One point about probably like eight or ten years ago I would bring home whatever I liked from the thrift store whether it went with my decor or not and so I'd end up getting sick of the item putting it like in a bin in the garage and even now today I'm really careful but I still have a bin of items that I need to let go of and it's almost like they're not even worth listing on Facebook Marketplace because I don't know. Okay, sound off in the comments if you're like me, you love going thrifting and antiquing, but you ended up you end up leaving empty-handed because you know you don't need any more stuff, especially if you're going to get sick of it. We're going to check out the Buffalo AKJ AK AKG Art Museum. Wow. I'm impressed already. Wow. Look at that cool sculpture. Nice. Look at all these old frames. Nice. Beautiful. Oil paintings. Look at this one. So pretty. Some of these they put glass on top. Probably to protect it. Oxidization. Look at this one. Robert Henry, 1865-1929. Sculptures. This is like modern. All modern stuff. I feel like a lot of this stuff is easy to duplicate. It just takes time, you know? When you make modern art like that, you need to come back later. Ooh. Sculpture. Oh, she said you can't touch anything. Nice. I'm gonna try to make something like this on my canvas at home. Modern art. He used found objects. Look like you see there's cardboard. Pilgrim. I like these. I like look this frame, Steve. See, I gotta I gotta make frames like this. See how the side look? Oh, that's kind of like how I do it, anyways. No, See, there's one layer. Is that wood? Yeah, I think so. We're not allowed to touch, though. Yeah. But <laughs> see, I got it duplicated like this. Look, Steve. Look at this side. Yeah. See, it has all the different layers. Okay, here's another digger right here. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this is supposed to be. A scene in Paris and it focuses on a washerwoman, but we're supposed to emphasize the weight of her burden. I like how it's so moody with the sky and the colors, and then it's like she's in the shadow. Okay, guys, we're going to Canada, it's only six minutes away. We just left the art museum, it's so inspiring. I got a lot of good ideas for making new frames, Turn beautiful left art. I wish I could paint art like that, anyhow. They had a bunch of modern art too that was like so so. But um, anyways, we're going to Canada and I'll give you an update there. Don't you know? In a quarter mile. 
going to Canada. We're gonna make a quick stop at the vintage and collectibles market. We're here in Canada. I think we're in Niagara Falls. I don't know where we are, but we're gonna check it out. Okay guys, I was not impressed with this little vintage off the highway antique market. It's right off Lake Ontario. Um, but I felt like the items were all grossly oh overpriced and it's shade. nothing new. I've seen all these things Vintage stateside. Market. I've seen all these things Crazy. in Central California. The only difference I would say with this little antique market, they did have a lot of like, you know, Eskimo type of like snowshoes and some things related to the cold weather. But this is all stuff I've seen before. Like even those paintings, they were just like etched on metal. I don't think, seemed like screen print on metal. <laughs> And their prices were expensive, like this vintage jar that I didn't show you in the scene, but that I saw when I first came in. It was like $125. So I wasn't impressed with this place, so I deleted a lot of the footage. Just scrolling through the vintage Toronto. Good morning. Good morning. We did not expect it to be like this. We were like, oh, it's just a little small. You know, like maybe like Pittsburgh or something like that. We didn't expect it to be like New York. But yeah, it is definitely cold. It's 32 degrees. We're going to go get breakfast. We did end up staying at the ritz carlton this is like an impromptu because we still have our room back in um buffalo but we decided to come here and once we came here we're like there's no turning back so yeah it was definitely nice and there were definitely a lot of restaurants and shops to eat at even like at midnight which is nice you know i like when cities have areas where you can have entertainment past midnight you know, because people have different work schedules, sleeping schedules. You need to accommodate everyone. Okay, guys, we're gonna we're gonna go up into the Space Needle before we head back to Buffalo to look at the properties. Whoa! I'm scared. I'm scared. All right, so we're at the top of the tower. Actually, no, we can still go further up high. There's Lake Ontario. Buffalo is on the other side of the lake. But to get there, there's no bridge that goes straight across. We kind of got to drive around the right side. But you can see the massiveness of Toronto. I mean, the downtown, I don't know what's bigger, New York or Toronto. I'm thinking Toronto. It's definitely beautiful. And there's like more city over there. And there's like suburbs, people have nice homes and stuff. The real estate values, I would say, are similar to San Francisco. A little bit cheaper, but not much cheaper. Look at cute stuff. This is Toronto. So this is Toronto, some of the homes. Okay, when starting out as an investor, you gotta look on Baltic Avenue and Mediterranean. Don't expect to get Park Place with your first investment. So our budget, is pretty low and we want a duplex a multi-unit dwelling so we can have two renters this first place had some issues it had old knob and tube electrical and an older roof which wouldn't be okay for our type of loan so you guys lead the way i answered okay. the question okay this next property the area wasn't the best but it had all new siding all new windows they tried to fix up the bathroom walls the bathroom floors one unit had original hardwood, the second one had vinyl, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, it needed stoves and refrigerators in each unit, but I mean, to me, it's like basically plug and play. So this one is 169. Okay guys, I'm in the vlog there. We ended our trip with an impromptu um, visit to the Buffalo Bills Stadium 
and we had an amazing time. They lost. Anyhow, I'll see you guys next time and let you know which property we made an offer on. All right, bye. Yeah, but it won't show I guess it's time to let